My name is Ronnie. Uh, I come from India. Uh, I'm actually a student in Berlin. I'm a delivery worker as well. I work with uh, Gorillas as well as Git here. So initially, you don't really feel the uh, difficulty of this job. You think that it's a lot stress-free, but uh, actually, it's not. That's what the company wants you to believe. I was never provided with a work equipment in Gorillas. Like you're not even my helmet to uh, drive safely as a company group. There were too many, too much orders that was coming into a uh, warehouse, and they started to cut down workers. Basically, I really felt uh, uh, the migrant students are taking advantage of because they don't know their rights. Uh, these companies are uh, clearly taking advantage of migrant students who doesn't know the language, uh, who can't get a job uh, in uh, another company. If you ask me, who am I fighting for? I'm fighting for the migrant workers. During the strikes in Gorillas, I'm like, uh, I met people who were experiencing the same problems. There were uh, Germans, there were uh, uh, Mexicans, there were like uh, from Latin America, like all over the world. So cross-border solidarity for me, at that point, I I got this strength or I got this courage that, okay, yeah, it's uh, me being an Indian, I'm, I'm not the only uh, one fighting against it. Uh, I don't call myself left, right, center, middle, I'm like, you come from Central Asia or West Germany or Western Europe. But either way, the conditions of the workers are the same. Trust is really important. I'm like, but the support that I got on May 2nd, 2022, uh, in the uh, Walfa Samlan, uh, it, it was amazing. Like, uh, I so almost all of my uh, friends, I uh, believe, I would, I, I would call them friends. Like uh, they show, showed up in solidarity, which gave me the courage to stand up. Most people don't stand up because uh, you, you feel you're alone. I would say I trust them.